gonna get the new the, the new nigga one. Gonna get the new nigga one. Yeah. The new ones, <laughs> yep, yep. And they're gonna get their hair back. The yep, blessings yep. are gonna come back. Their hair is gonna start to grow. They're not gonna wear weaves. Yep. Because their hair is gonna grow. You know, their shape, their built is gonna come back. They're gonna be smelling good. They're gonna be sounding good. And they're gonna be able to sing. Unlike Beyonce, man. They're gonna actually be able to sing, man. You know, they get you aroused just by them singing. You like, you like women. And there ain't gonna be a nigga, the nigga woman ain't making it out of here, man. Stop it. Well, it's good. The, 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 the nigga woman will be obsolete. She's gonna be obsolete. We're gonna get the Judite woman. All right? Big difference. Jeremiah 23 and 8. It says, But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Yeah, that's and right. our own land is really the whole world. That's right. We're going to be back in the Middle East, but that's going to be the headquarters of the whole planet, man. That's right. And all these people are going to have to obey what we say, man. And they can buck up. I want them to buck up, man. Right, right. I want them to buck up, man. Right. I want them to tell, bring out the Constitution. Well, we got a First, a first Amendment, man. I'll take that Constitution and, sh and <laughs> Go ahead, man. Hey, um, also, the Lord said in his Father's house is many mansions. So we're not just looking at the earth, we're looking at the other planets too. So we'll be able to do interstellar travel. Like, like what they did on Star Trek, we'll literally do that, man. We won't have yeah, to that's what them devils want to do. We're going to yeah. actually do it, man. We won't have to worry about being killed. In Star Trek, every time you see a Jake being down with Captain Kirk, he ain't coming back to the ship, man. <laughs> you know, it usually he end up getting killed. But we won't have to be worried, you know, worry about being killed. You know? Hey, this, this devil is truly a devil. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Okay, uh, I'll read on. It says, My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man and like a man whom wine have overcome because of the Lord and because of the words of his holiness. Yeah, that's us. we catching all this hell because we got this truth. You know, we're not a part of this world. You know, the world looks at us as, as, as a piece of shit. Scripture say we're made as the off yep. Now when you look up that word, it means it means basically it means dumb. It means shit. You know, and that's like the scriptures say, he that endureth to the end, that's part of what you gotta endure, being in this knowledge. Having the knowledge that the world looks at you as, as nothing. But the scriptures say before honor comes humility. Now the word humiliated comes from humility. So when you're humiliated, then comes the honor. See? Just like Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was humiliated, but then he received the honor. You know, he received the spiritual power because he did what he was supposed to do. You know? Right. It says, For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing the land mourneth, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. You know, that's, that's uh, Israel, man. These wicked-ass niggas, man. They're supposed to call themselves... Uh, they know that they're Israelites. They force... They're not right, man. They're evil, man. They blaspheme in the name of the, the Mosai. All right? They're adding it to his word. They're taking from his word. Saying that, oh, there's no prophecy about the little microchip. The mark of the beast is not talking about... It's talking about a goddamn embargo. That's why you don't see Nate out there on the highways and the byways, man. Like, you got some of the, some of the zombies saying, well... You talking about he don't go out. He's been going to different uh, states, open up schools. Where is it saying? This? Give me a scripture yeah. where it says, then you shall open schools. It ain't in there, man. No. Yeah, what school did Yahweh Shai have? Yeah. That's right. You know, the school, first of all, uh, the Lord said, uh, if you could get me that real quick, uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 9. The Lord said that, uh, well, we're going to let the scripture say it. We don't need no damn school, man. Furthermore, this is the school right here. Brothers, you know, when you come here and you listen to the word, you're in the school. You know? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. For we are laborers together with the Most High. Ye are the Most High's husbandry. Ye are the Most High's building. There's your school. There's your school. Read that last part again. God. It says, ye are the Most High's husbandry. You know what it means, husbandry? Meaning planted. Those of us that's in this truth, and we endure to the end, we're the ones that was planted by the Heavenly Father. That's why the Lord made that statement. He said, 
every tree which is uh, has not been planted shall be rooted up. All right, so we're that plant. And when you plant something, it's supposed to bring forth what? Fruit. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Right, it says, ye are the most High's husbandry, ye are the most High's building. We are the most High's building. So we don't need no school, brothers. We don't need no school. There's another one too, uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, know ye not that ye are the temple? Uh, what is that? Yeah, the same yeah, chapter. Right? Yep. And, and that's heavy because the Apostle Paul, I'm sure the Israelites in Corinth, they had that argument. Oh, we need a school, we need a school. That's why the Apostle Paul made that statement. Ye are the Most High's husbandry, ye are his building. Right, because Yahweh Shai, so when two or three are gathered in my yeah. name, there am I in the midst. That's, that's right. why you have some of the brothers, they were having uh, schools at their house. That's right. With a prayer with me that they gather at their house. That's right. You know? Also, we are church, and the word church, brothers, when you look it up, it's from the Greek, ecclesia, which means to call out. So those of us that come to the calling, this is the calling now. And you come to it and you listen, you're part of the church, which the word church means call out. See? Many are called, few are chosen. See, that's why we tell you, brothers, words are important, man. When you learn these words, it, it brings to life these scriptures. You know? Yeah, go ahead, bring that. Acts 17, 24. The Most High I made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Yeah, read that again. Read that again. Okay. Time. Cold scripture. Um, this is Acts 17, 24. God that made the world and all things therein. That's another reason why the Lord don't need a school. The Most High made everything. I think that's in, uh, what is that, Isaiah? Where's the building you promised me? Something yeah. like that. Go ahead, brother. Seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth. Seeing is Lord of heaven and earth. Lord. Dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Right. Dwelleth not in temples made with hands. And that cuts these people that believe in that church. They see that magnificent so-called church, which the, we know what the word church means. It means call out. They see the building and they say, oh, the most high well, God has to be in there. You know, well, made is building churches because what they, what, what do they call on? They can call the name of Christ. Yeah. Ain't nobody church, man. So technically on the law, in the law, there's no such thing about having synagogues. Synagogue is a Greek word. We had temples. Yeah, we had temples. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, we had temples. That's so right. Synagogue didn't come around to the, to the gospel, to the New Testament. Yeah, that's just a Greek word that just means temple. The actual word there was temple, yeah. where you worship, you know? But now, but now we're the temple. We're the uh, uh, Revelation 11. As a matter of fact, listen. Well, we're the building. Yeah, we're yeah, the yeah, building, man. Uh, uh, that's, that's right. The Greeks took us over. They defiled our temples and destroyed them. And, and when the Lord said, uh, you shall destroy this temple and I shall build it in three days, he was talking about himself and he was talking about the children of Israel being built back up. We're the house. That's what this nigga Nate got to understand. We are the, the house. The school is already built, man. Right, right. That's why the is, that, is that a uh, great millstone? That's yeah. why the Lord says don't defy your temple. Says he says he right, because you you are your own temple. You have your own temple, temple. man. That's You're why your you own know. synagogue, so to speak. Yeah, that's why you can't be lining up your beard because you're defiling the temple. Well, you got a lot of guys in GMS, man. Yeah, yeah. They be cutting their hair short, you know. Yep. Lining it up. Using a razor, lining it up. They ain't supposed to do that, man. Yeah, if you believe you're part of the temple. Line up your you? beard, yeah. you know, like Nate. Nate, line up his beard, man. He'd be taking, yeah, he, he, he take, he'd be taking about an inch off over here and an inch off over there. And he can't say I'm a liar because I got the pictures. I got the pictures, yeah. I put it up on my videos, man, with the side view, you know, with the profile. Yeah. Revelation 11 and 1. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, rise and measure the temple of the Most High. And I read that rod, that's the scriptures. Because that's what measures you. You're supposed to measure up to the scriptures. And that's what we're doing right now. Right. Oh, so those that don't go out in the winter, they ain't measuring up to the scriptures. They're falling short. Hey, this is a, a divine... This is the divine construction job, man. Oh, yeah. Now, let's say you work construction, and the winter come, and you tell your, your foreman, I ain't going out, it's too cold. He'll say, okay, okay. Come back the next day, you, you got a Raul, you know, up on the ladder and shit, man. You know? They ain't, they, they, they're not going to argue, you know? 
Oh, you want to take the winters off? Oh, be my, be my guest. Man. Right. I'll see you next spring. When you come next spring, that construction site ain't going to be there, man. That's right. Yeah, yeah, man. So you better stop That's fucking right. around, Nate. That's right, because hey, if you building, you building a, a project, you got to build it all year long, man. You work in a job, man. Yeah. You work at any job. Let's say you work for UPS. I ain't going out there because it's snow. Man, I work, I worked at jobs where I drove all my life. On the snow, when it's snowy, they they call your ass up. You yeah. make sure you bring your ass in here. You know? Yep. Yeah, that's they right. They want to make sure your ass, you know, come in there, man. They'll get heaters and shit like that for you, you know, whatever. I job, man, it was a snow, but it's the one day, and I thought they were going to call off work. They didn't call off work. You had to come in the next day, man. Snow blizzard, they barely plow. It's not what a snow yesterday, man. I ain't gonna come to work. You had to come to, they expect you to come to fucking work. And shovel snow. The most high expect you to come to work, man. That's right. Most yeah. high didn't say, hey, Nate, show me a scripture in the, in the Bible where it says you can take the winter off, man. If you can show me that in the Bible and you shall take the winters off, I won't say nothing negative about you anymore. You can't. Oh, well, you can say it on the camera. Like, yeah. even with the medical personnel, it could be raining fire. They expect them to be there. It don't matter what's going on. Oh, what what about the there. mailman? They got a slogan. Neither rain, nor yeah. sleep, nor snow, yeah. nor, nor whatever they no, say. To, 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 from our point of view. We're the mailman. We got yeah. the mail the from the mail right. mail right. we're, we're the mailman of righteousness, man. That's right. We're the holy the mailman mail. of righteousness, That's man. Right. There's the mail, we bring you, We're bringing you the mail, baby. <laughs> the new and new with, with a door-to-door -door service, man. You know? <laughs> And that's love, man. You got these niggas talking about GMS don't show no love. So we bring you the mail. Hey, hey, Baloo, shut the fuck up, yeah, you man. big overgrown ape. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you said what's, what's more important, showing brotherly love or teaching about the RFID? <coughs> Nigga, if I teach about the RFID, I'm showing you love, you dummy. I done showed your ass black ass love, and you don't want to see it, man. I'm going to make mockery of it, put a potato chip up on there, man. Most I going to get you, man. Yeah, but then later on, he came back and said, oh, no, the chip matters. I did a video on you on that. You said the chip don't matter, but then you came back and said, no, the chip matters. Now, all of a sudden, because it's coming out about the chip, the chip matters. Yep. Me and this uh, elder, we did the video. Remember we did the video on it? Yep, yep. Showing brotherly love, first of all, bringing out the educating Israel to what's going to happen is showing, but we're showing y'all love. We're telling you the chip is coming. The martial law, that, is that not showing love? We're preparing you, man. That, uh, Ezekiel, they talked about the watchman. Yep, yeah, yeah. The dudes ain't showing you love. Blue ain't showing you love because he ain't telling you what's going to happen. I got to add to you, brother, um, if the brother can find it, love is showed in deeds, brothers. That's right. Oh, you know, that love, that, what, your woman yeah. tell you that. I love you. Meanwhile, she she jumping on your your, your friend's rod, yeah. you know, talking about she love you. That ain't love. Love is in deeds, man. Love is deeds. That's right. All right. Then, love. Yeah. yeah. Action. Deeds. It shows real love. See the, you know. Them guys don't all them action. guys. I'm sorry, brother. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. All them guys are four a four time mentioned that we just talked about. Them dudes gonna love y'all. They don't love the congregation. Generally, they don't love it. Them dudes are Judas goats. That's why they're not teaching. They ain't telling his, his congregation about the, what's going to happen. Because he don't love them. He putting a blanket over them guys' head. He love the money. That's a wicked, deceitful nigga. And Baloo don't love you. Heaven is now the, uh, all hell's about to break loose out here. And Baloo is up there make, telling you about taking your woman to a picnic, man. Oh, man. Are we living in the times to be thinking about taking your woman to a fucking picnic, man? Okay, we ain't living in them times, man. This dude's gonna take your woman to the...